What is good everybody, today we are reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 22 Jey Uso figure. Now you're probably wondering where the hell are you, why the hell are you reviewing this thing with a beach background? Well it's because I'm actually at the beach right now. I'm at the beach right now and I had family bring down the Ultimate Edition figures here so that I could review them while I am here because I know that these figures have been out for a little bit now and once I get back it will have already been a week and a half or so and I didn't want to wait because when I get back it will be a slew of reviews and I wanted to not get backed up on that. So I know it's not the traditional setup. I know the lighting is not the greatest of all time. We do have a sunset coming in right here. It's like a brand new sunrise coming up to light up this Jey Uso right here. So it may not be the best of all time, but you know what, man? I figured it'd make for a pretty cool review. We got a beach background. We do have the sand and such behind, and it should be a fun one regardless, man. I feel like we've been waiting on these figures for a while now, and if the lighting's all messed up, and this video may suck complete A, and it may piss me off, but you know what? We're going to give it our go anyway, man. But here we have the traditional Jey Uso packaging. You do have Jey Uso. So in there, in the all white gear, got the real chief shirt, three interchangeable heads. We're going to go through the entire lore there, unbox this thing, and fully review it. On the side, we do have Jey Uso there. On the back, we have some nice package shots of Jey Uso, and then you got Jey Uso over there. It actually looks a lot better when it's not reflective, so maybe that will look better when we unbox it. If you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. And you may even hear seagulls and waves and all kinds of stuff in the background, so I do apologize for that. But we do have Jey Uso right here, man, and he's looking pretty good. I'm excited for the figure. We'll see. You guys know that coming into Ultimate Edition Series 22 wasn't that hype for the wave, but seeing it here in person, I did forget that he would have all of his updated tattoos and such, so... Could make for a pretty cool, cool figure, but nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack Jey Uso out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base. Yes, I did bring the rotating base. So let's shut the hell up and do so. So here we have our new Ultimate Edition Jey Uso out of the packaging, man. Spinning around, I know the lighting, again, is not the greatest, and I do apologize for that, but it looks uh, it looks pretty good. You know, he's, he's, he's got the palm tree on the leg, he's spinning around, we're at the beach, it all makes sense, right? But this figure actually has impressed me a lot more than I was expecting to before we cracked him out of the packaging. But we do know that this is our second Jey Uso Ultimate Edition that we have seen in the line, but I am impressed by some of the things executed here. We're going to break down all the things. we got some new things going on, which we will explain in this video, but of course, we won't know until we take a look at the details of it. So what we're going to do is run through Jey Uso's Ultimate Edition accessories, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Jey Uso Ultimate Edition himself. So that being said, let's shut the hell up and get into it. So getting into Jey Uso's accessories, man, you get the standard stuff for an Ultimate Edition. The only thing you're lacking is a championship belt. We do get good cloth goods, man. We have the real Chief shirt. It is not cropped, which is very weird. I feel like they would have added the cropped shirt in there. Maybe they will for Elite 114 Jey Uso. But on the back, you'll notice it says Jey Uso. So they actually do have the front and back graphics. No velvet on there and you can slide it onto the ultimate edition torso all you have to do is remove the arms and you know slide it on there and it feels like it you know it looks like it fits the figure pretty well from what i've added from what i've done playing with the figure here so if you do slide that on there it does fit pretty well but again it is not the crop top and i can't remember if he actually did crop this top i feel like he would have you know because he does it very often but maybe he didn't maybe this is accurate i'm not entirely sure but this is a pretty cool short uh, shirt i like that they added this in there and it is a cool shirt even if it isn't the yeet shirt and everything you could always buy a custom yeet shirt if you wanted to but this looks pretty good on the figure i like that the white ties in with the red and black so it's a very good contrast as well now outside of that we do get interchangeable head sculpts here we do have this gritting face which is just the same head sculpt we got on his ultimate it's just repainted so it looks like jey uso he does have sort of that salt and pepper going on he's got the fade on the side a lot better than roman reigns fade not perfect but definitely better and then he does have the orange in the back instead of the red so we do get a little bit of a different repaint here but it's a good head sculpt i like this head sculpt and then we also have the yelling head sculpt which i think looks damn good very good jay uso head sculpt right here i don't like the more i look at these the more i'm thinking that they're new but i don't think they're new i'm pretty sure we saw these all with his ultimate edition ringside exclusives but then we have his third one which is going to be the straight face which is kind of an older head sculpt this one right here is the oldest it came in the elite 90 jay uso in the all white so we're getting an all white ultimate here with essentially the exact same head sculpt but they all look good all three of them look pretty damn good i know they they, they lay on the you know the white or the salt a little thick there on the beard but it looks pretty good i think all of them have likeness all of them work for jay uso that's all you can really ask for so this is pretty good for me i like these head sculpts outside of that we do get his necklace or his entrance necklace here the name escapes me i legitimately just reviewed a figure the other day and now my mind is ha i'm having a mind blank but we also get his necklace over here so you get the gold necklace with the shimmer on it which looks pretty good and then you do have the it's not a lay it's a my mind is going blank and i can't look it up right now because i'm using my phone as a filming device so i cannot do so 
so. But I did you I, I legitimately just had the term correct the other day, and now my mind's gone blank. So it escapes me. I am a clown. It looks good. Nice sculpt and everything, but we have seen it before. And then the necklace is the same sculpt we've seen before. And outside of that, he does come with interchangeable hands. You do have the mic holding hands, and the, the right hand does have the tape on the side of the hand and on the pinky. He also comes with the newest version of the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands with the same tape on the side right there. He comes with the We the One hands, or the pointer fingers, to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up as a, you know, a signature hand you gotta have with Jey Uso. Last but not least, you knew he had to come with fisted hands. So he comes with the fisted hands with the tape on the pinky again to, you guessed it, beat the hell out of people. So getting a Jey Uso at the head sculpt, man, this figure, again, this is the same head sculpt we got on the Elite 90, but it looks pretty good. I wanted to put the straight face on there. Usually when I'm doing the reviews close up like this, I want to get the most, you know, just standard looking stuff. So take off the shirt, put on the standard head sculpt, give them the mic holding hands and just kind of chill them there. Also, mic holding hands are my standard hands. I don't like to have fisted hands as my standard hands. I like mic holding hands just because in case you ever want to put a mic in their hand or a weapon of some sort. And I feel like it's better as a relaxed hand than a fist. You know, they're clenching up their fist the whole time. I feel like that's not accurate. I feel like, you know, a more relaxed hand would be a mic holding hand. But getting into the figure itself, this is the exact same torso we got on his last Ultimate Edition. But you're seeing a lot more tattoo deco. We're going to get into the comparisons in just a moment. But all of his chest tattoos on there, they're the same size, which is nice to see. You know, on the Elite 106, it looked very awkward. Didn't look accurate at all. But spinning him around, he does have all of his accurate decals here or his accurate deco there. My screen brightness just went down, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. But the palm trees look good here, and they're continuous. So when you get this articulation, you will get the continuous palm tree, which is very nice. And then he does have his full back tattoo, which looks awesome. All of the Usos, the Roman Reigns, all of their tattoos always look very good. I'm pretty sure it's the same artist, too. So very talented artist who does all of their work. But we do have... The tattoos continued over here, white sleeve on this side, and then you get into the white pants. Now, these pants are the same Ultimate Edition mold we saw on his ringside exclusive Usos, the two-pack. They are in white instead of black, and then he does have his palm tree deco here on the side, which looks good. You have that ombre red to orange, which looks good, kind of like a sunrise. And then on the left leg, you do get the J there in the nice font, the bloodline font, whatever you want to say, which is cool. Uh, legs are a little bit stiff. They're not as stiff as the Elite 106 that we saw, but they're definitely still stiff. But then we get into this quote-unquote new shoe mold. It is supposedly a new shoe mold, but it looks the exact same to me. I think the, the, you know, the quality of plastic feels a little bit better, but at the same time, it's just not up to par. It's not the greatest of all time. I'm hoping we will get a brand new shoe mold, and I was told that you know they are kind of working towards that. So hopefully, we will see new shoe molds. You guys know that I'm always constantly complaining about the shoe mold, so hopefully, this will be one of the last figures that comes with the crappy shoe mold. And it's not, I think this is, like, it's similar, but it is new, apparently. So comparing these, they, I mean, they look exactly the same to me, but what do I know, man? Maybe they did improve it slightly, and maybe, I don't know, maybe they did improve something. Maybe it is a little different. I can't tell completely, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the color throwing me off, but maybe it is the exact same, and maybe they're making changes there. But let's get into some Jey Uso figure comparisons. So for your Jey Uso figure comparison, here is the brand new Ultimate Edition in the middle, and then we do have the ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition over here, which is fixed up. I did add a red sleeve. I did cut the shirt, but for the most part, it's the exact same figure, just repainted. And then we have the Elite 106 here on the left, which again isn't the best figure of all time. It's, I mean, if you put the shirt on there, it's not the you know it's not the biggest downgrade, but it is cool to see that we have so many Jey Usos in different colors and different things like this because it makes for some really cool figures. And I can even see you know you fixing up these different you know you can put black shoes on here, black shoes on here, red shoes on here, or black shoes over there. There's different fix ups that you, that I definitely want to make for my collection. But it is cool to see these. And if we remove the shirt from this Jey Uso, you will see the change in deco, so you guys can see exactly the difference between the two Ultimate Editions here. So if you remove this, you will see that he doesn't have all the tattoos. So if you take this one, you can see the palm tree is different there. And then you look on the back, his complete back tattoo is completely full. So there's definitely differences that you get between these two. But yeah, it's not the, uh, you know, it's not the biggest upgrade ever, but I still think that it was necessary. I hear sirens going off on the back. I don't know if you can hear that, but. And then for one more Jey Uso figure comparison, here's the Elite 110 Roman Reigns on the left, and then we do have the fix-up main event Jey Uso on the right, and it is just an Elite Jey Uso fixed up there, but you could see the differences there. I know that a lot of people wanted this ultimate to be in this, but they didn't have time to get it out, but I do guarantee we'll pro, I know we're getting the Elite 114 that's similar to what I'm holding right here, but I guarantee they'll probably do some sort of re paint or some sort of Jey Uso in the Ultimate Edition right here in this sort of garb. So I wouldn't, you know, beat yourself up. If you want to wait on this and wait on the Elite 114, you could. But this is a pretty good Jey Uso Ultimate Edition. I could probably buy it for parts and stuff. It does have all the updated 
of tattoos, and it is a pretty good main event Jey Uso. Again, you could always throw a custom shirt on there, and it would suffice, but I don't know, man. It will be up to you, but one thing I want to do before we get out of here is I want to put the MDT Tag Team Championship on here because... I run this guy as a tag team. You know, currently in my bloodline, and my Jey Uso or my Usos, I have him as a tag team, and I just think they work better as a tag team. Not that I don't like Jey Uso himself, but I, I do like them as a tag team. But he has crushed it in his main event run or his solo run, and I think he's very, very talented. But there is your last shot. We have the Elite 110 repainted. Then you have the new Jey Uso Ultimate Edition from Series 22. But I think that about wraps up our Jey Uso Ultimate Edition 22 figure review, man. At the end of the day, this figure definitely impresses me more than I thought it would when it was first announced. I just didn't really care for another Jey Uso when it wasn't his main event or his main current look as we see it right now on television, you know, like the custom that we have. But it's not a bad figure. I like the execution of all the details. I like that we have the updated tattoos. I love that the shirt actually has no Velcro on it. I always forget about that detail. And then when we actually see it on the figure, it looks a hell of a lot better. You do get a lot of redo things on here, but it is essentially a repaint. But you do get some cool additions here and there. You get the updated deco. You get a cool shirt. You do get some cool updates here. And if you want that main event or you want that solo run Jey Uso, this is a good figure to get. I think that it would suffice your Jey Uso collection. And you could throw a custom shirt on here if you wanted to put the Yeet in there. I know a lot of people are going to want that Yeet Jey Uso, which is coming in Elite Series 114. But this figure looks pretty damn good. I'm actually impressed with it quite, quite a bit for the most part. We do have this quote-unquote new shoe mold going on here. They said that they were probably going to throw it out really quick like, so I think there's a brand new shoe mold coming after this one because this one is essentially the exact same as the last one. I don't really see too much differences. It looks like the plastic is probably a little bit better quality. It may be a little bit thicker here, a little bit better in this figure than it was previously on the other, you know, John Cena's and Uso figures. But the shoe mold is not the end-all be-all. I don't think it's the greatest of all time. But, however, if you guys want to pick up this Jey Uso, you think it's good enough, you want to grab it, I do apologize for everything throughout this video. If the lighting wasn't suffice or whatever the hell it was, man. So, I do apologize. Tried something a little different. If I threw a Hail Mary and we didn't catch it, you know what, man? I hate to see it. But, you know what? Again, you, nobody bats a thousand, but I wanted to try my hand at it anyway. But, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I I think that is going to wrap the Jey Uso Ultimate Edition Series 22 figure review. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. I do appreciate all those fellas over there. I also don't know if I'll be able to plug in the photo shoot that we usually do at the end of the reviews. I'll try my best to try and do that. I, I, I'm not holding my breath on it because my, my editing ability is a little bit limited on my phone compared to what it would be on a desktop, so I do apologize for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and I'd like to know your thoughts on the video and everything going on, man. So hopefully it made for a cool change of scenery. Maybe it sucked. I don't know. You can let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.